So I was in Winkler yesterday. Just dropping off a piece of rental equipment. And I uh, picked up this thermal image gun. I don't have the flare for my cell phone yet. So just spent a few bucks and rented this, uh, this piece of equipment. I'm going to walk through the aisles in the shed. And I just want to see what I have for survivability. The heat signatures off the beehives in the shed should be able to give me a pretty good idea of the integrity of my uh, clusters within those boxes. So uh, I just, I'm just curious to see what my shed's holding out at. I'm going to go in and I'm going to test uh, for CO2 and the humidity, you know. So all types of technology today. So I'll just put on the red light. And we'll see what I got. So my air exchange has ramped up a little bit, not much. The shed is sitting at 2400 parts per million. Air temperature is 7 and 40% humidity. So the conditions are adequate. So I'm just walking the aisles with this heat signature gun and I'm seeing a lot of life which is nice to see. I'm finding a few blank spots. Let's see if I can find one here for you. There it is here. This one here is dead. No, it's not. This one. Obviously, by the looks of the entrance. The bees certainly don't like this white light. They're all over here. I'm going to point out that hive that I figured was starved and show you what it looks like here. I figure this is a starved out hive. So I've tagged it. What does the gun tell me? The gun tells me it's not starved. Look at the cluster in there. So they're obviously still alive. Maybe they are starving. I don't know what's going on. So that shows life. Just gonna quickly walk down the aisles here. Got some of my doubles. Two box signatures, they look pretty good. I think I can just relax a little bit about my my hives this winter. I'm seeing lots of life. Let's go around to my five frame nukes. hard to walk through here with uh, looking through two cameras. Look at the life there. So I'm not finding too many blank spots. I'll try to find another one here. Here's one. Nope, still got life in there. So why did I rent this gun? Just to put my nerves at ease a little bit. It's always hard this time of year. Where we want to get beekeeping and walk the aisles, not exactly sure what's going on. Sweeping up dead bees on the floor. It's nice to walk miles and and see life. Okay, here's a five frame nuke that is dead. 
this one here, obviously. Eh? Look at the black, the blank spot. Let's just look. Where are we? This one here. They are dead. Oop, the guys up top didn't like that. It's a blank spot. So, for the most part, I'm not seeing too many blank spots, which is awesome. Now you notice here, look at this. See how the hives are mostly glowing? Then as I get further down this aisle, see the hives here really start to cool off. See right at the end of the row here? It's because of my vent. We can see. There's my air intake. And it comes and it blasts against the wall here. You can see the cold signature right on the wall. And it follows through straight down this aisle. So it starts mixing the air, the cold air mixes right over top of these hives. So that's a flaw in my shed. I need a plenum to be able to spread that cold air out evenly through with the shed because these hives are getting the brunt of that. But even so, Look at the life in there. Okay, so that's all I need to see. Take a look at my nukes and then take this gun back and just kind of stay out of the shed for a little while until spring comes.